Look beyond the obvious choices in the Super Mini segment and you might be surprised at what you'll find. Take this fourth generation Kia Rio, a smartly styled Super Mini that challenges for class honours in a way that will suit sensibly minded buyers. It's pretty spacious, easy to drive and very affordable to run, especially in diesel form or when fitted out with the brand's impressive 1 litre TGDI petrol engine. Plus, prices are pitched keenly and you get a 7 year warranty. It is, in short, a very competitive car indeed. Kia has made considerable efforts to improve the design fundamentals of this fourth generation Rio. Key to this is the creation of a much stiffer body this time around, which allows the suspension to do its work without having to compensate for flexing in the chassis structure. Now that, uh, along with a set of revised spring and damper settings, reduces roll through the bends, yet at the same time you get impressive standards of ride quality. Out on the open road, it is true that this Rio doesn't feel quite as sharp as a rival Fiesta through the bends, but there is decent refinement, uh, the manual gearbox is quite slick and the brakes are very good too. All of which will almost certainly be more important to potential segment buyers than outright speed, which is just as well because the Rio lineup uh, doesn't offer too much of that. The mainstream engine range including few of the kind of power plants that would really tempt in more spirited drivers. That's not to say that there aren't some effective engines in the Rio portfolio these days. There absolutely are. Uh, and the headline act is the three-cylinder, one-litre TGDI turbo petrol unit that we're trying here. Now, this is a power plant that Kia has developed to take on the similar downsized three-pot engines that are now available from most of the other brands in the segment. Uh, this is offered in two states of tune with either 99 or 118 bhp. Now, the lesser variant is the one we're trying here, and it's capable of 62.8 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 102 grams per kilometer of CO2. We think this unit is a much better bet than the two older tech Kappa family petrol engines in the range. Uh, the 83 bhp 1.25 litre unit that budget buyers choose and the 98 bhp 1.4 litre variant that's the only Rio power plant you can order with automatic transmission. Now if you want a diesel there are two 1.4 litre CRDI options with a choice between 76 and 89 bhp outputs. The days of affordable Kia models betraying all the hallmarks of budget brand design are long gone. So are the days when a super mini was a relatively diminutive thing. Uh, this fourth generation Rio is not only a smartly turned out, maturely styled contender, but also a car that a decade ago would have been seen as a competitor for a bigger family hatchback Astra or Focus rather than a super mini sized Corsa or Fiesta. Time to take a seat inside where those still harbouring perceptions of Kia as a budget brand will be further disabused of that notion. Uh, true, in this case, things have been embellished a bit. Uh, this up-spec variant features further upholstery, a premium automatic air conditioning system and this large and sophisticated looking 7-inch colour infotainment screen. Even mainstream variants, though, get features like this lovely stitched leather multifunction steering wheel through which you view a smart instrument binnacle uh, where the two main dials are separated by a three and a half inch supervision cluster digital display. So let's take a seat in the rear where you'd hope this fourth generation model's increase in width and length might pay dividends. Now the 10 millimeters of extra wheelbase does certainly benefit legroom back here. Um, only if the uh, front seat occupants happen to be particularly tall will there be any significant restrictions. So let's finish with a few words on boot space, which has risen by 37 litres over the previous model. Uh, the tailgate's light to lift and it reveals a 325 litre luggage area. It's one of the very largest in the Super Mini segment. It's easy to see why Kia is one of the fastest growing car makers in the world, doubling its global sales over the last few years thanks to a range of models that are now seriously troubling the European market's established players. And here's another one that'll add to their concerns. Smartly styled, sensibly spacious and quite acceptably efficient. In summary, if you're thinking of buying in the Super Mini segment, you may not be considering this car as an option. But take it from us. You should be.